In 2021, Warren County received over $25 million from the American Rescue Plan Act established by the federal government to help communities recover from the financial effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. WBKO News reporter Derek Parham met with the Warren County Treasurer to find out what the money has been used for and how it will continue to be used for upcoming projects. Warren County Treasurer Greg Burrell explained that the $25 million in funds have since been used for countywide improvements like the 2021 broadband implementation. We invested, the county did, you know, $10 million in that project. So that's probably the biggest of, of any of the projects that we did. And then we've done water sewer projects that are about four and a half million. Uh, we did a low income housing that was a uh, million dollar investment, you know, and all of this relates to the, you know, the ARPA findings. As far as lost finances from the pandemic, Burrell says the Warren County has been lucky and likely would have made it through the pandemic without assistance. But th there's probably some counties that wouldn't have. So for us, it just kind of helped us really get to a position to where we could really invest in, in different projects. At last week's meeting, the Warren County Fiscal Court reallocated about $5 million ARPA dollars from their grant funding to the general fund. So then what that allows us to do with that money is then it's kind of free to do anything with. So, so then we can sp spend it on, you know, roads and parks projects and stuff like that. You know, I think we spent about $400,000 on upgrades to some radios for our first responders, you know, mostly our volunteer fire departments and emergency management and a few other departments, sheriff's office. So, so things like that is, is what it's going, you know, is, is what we're spending that revenue loss money for. Burrell reported that all of the county's ARPA funds have either been used or are obligated for future projects. Reporting in Warren County, Derek Parham, WBKO News.